Hi everyone, welcome back again to another further tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about JSONs. Whenever it comes to JSONs, we can make use of uh, uh, either the network call that is loading the JSONs which comes via the network or else make use of the JSON which is present locally inside your projects. And in this tutorial we will be dealing with the second part which is loading the local JSONs. And, when, and because why is that we have already did a separate video regarding the network call and uh, request response and JSONs in a separate video I will also leave the link for the video the card at the top right okay so this tutorial is all about the local JSONs and what will you be dealing physically is like a, as you could see the screen we have a simple button which is load data and whenever I click this button set of five cards just appears and which is it loads the data from the JSON you can see here that we have a separate JSON file inside the assets folder and this is the JSON file okay a list of JSONs and this uh, name is just mapped over here in the UI okay so I have made use of this JSON file for loading this uh, data and what I have done uh, additionally is like I have added an extra feature like a, an encryption format that is you can either make use of an encryption format if you are concerned about the privacy about your JSONs whenever it goes uh, to and for beyond the servers and backend and if you want to have an encryption method then you can have just encrypt your JSON uh, bundle as a whole into a hexadecimal string and you can just decrypt. What I have done here is specifically is like uh, as we are dealing with the local JSONs, I have no way to send the data back to the server and get back the response. So I have just made encrypted the entire JSON into a hexadecimal string and as uh, consequently I have just decrypted the uh, encrypted uh, hexadecimal string that is uh, the encrypted JSON by decrypting that i will be getting the again the plain original json format okay so and this decrypted text is what is mapped with this ui screens okay so with this we get to know that the encryption and decryption has done properly and also when i run this app you could see here uh, this is the hexadecimal string which is generated out of uh, encryption okay so this is what we will be getting uh, in this encrypted variable and uh, consequently when decrypting you will be getting this hexa uh, that sorry this json bundle okay so we will be able to get the retrieve this original json bundle back during the decryption process okay so you just keep it as simple as like uh, just passing the data json data from local assets and making use of encryption format and that's it that's all about what we will be discussing in this video and with this knowledge we can just go into the coding part so for encryption i have made use of this package which is encrypt okay so just add this package in your pub spec and also in the assets i have just added the folder path of my json file okay and after doing this starting the main data file we have navigation to my home page and inside which we have the build method which renders Two widgets that is the list view containing the set of cards and at last we have a button okay so um, these are the two ma major widgets what we will be using in our ui screens and uh, if you go to the list view we have a simple ternary conditions which is which checks for the length of the account so accounts is nothing but a list which we'll be making use of in the later part that is appending the json value into this accounts list okay so initially its value is zero or its length is zero so um, uh, we will we'll be getting this container which will just get to surrender whenever the value is zero and if we have something in the accounts list then this expanded that is the list we builder gets rendered okay so this is a simple general condition and for the button we have a simple elevated button and inside the on press event of that button uh, i have just called a function which is read JSONs. So this JSON read JSON function is responsible for um, getting the data from the JSON file that we have in the assets folder. Okay, and reading JSON is of two types. For, for first is the load asset JSON, which actually made make use of root bundle and load string, and you just need to provide the uh, relative path of the JSON file what you have. Okay, after doing this, you can you will be able to get that JSON say this. A response one variable okay that is one part of uh, reading json and another is like uh, 
uh, we can create a custom JSONs that is from the variables what you need to have. So here we made use of JSON encode method. So this is one another type that is reading the file that is the, reading the entire JSON file and loading them and another is creating a custom JSON and loading them in the response to variable. Okay. So you can make use of either one of them and after loading that we just need to perform few functions the response one and the response two variable contains the string we can make use of either one of them for now so i will be taking the response one and showing it demo and also taking the response two and showing the live demo okay first let's go with the response one we just need to convert that response one string into a json object okay for that we will be making use of json.decode method okay await json.decode and we just need to pass in the string just response one okay and after that so we have that json object over here in this data variable now we need to just make use of the set state method to just uh, modify the accounts list what you had just uh, discussed before okay let's say this is state and we just setting the accounts list to the data and as the data is again a list just need to specify the name accounts okay so now i have just uh, set the condition i have just appended the data json object data to the accounts list so now we just click on this load data button we will be able to see the json variables getting loaded that is this set of json bundle is getting loaded and they are just mapped into the corresponding places using this variable which is we access them using account of index and pass in the key okay now what we need to do next is like uh, uh, switching to encryption format okay and for encryption i have made use of aes encryption and uh, these are the keys and the uh, installation vector what I have made use of. So the key is a 32 bit and um, installation vector is of 16 bit. And uh, this encrypt message is the function is actually just accept the plain test which is of type string and encrypt then into an encrypted object. And this decrypt message again just receives the uh, encrypted object as a parameter and decrypts them into a string. Okay. And get code function actually gets the encrypted uh, message as a string as an input and uh, with that encrypted string it actually produces a encrypted object okay so with this encrypted object we can just make use of the decrypt method to get the plain test back again okay so just don't confuse with that so now i will be just showing it how again okay. after the set state uh, we can just make use of so this should encrypt is a boolean variable which will be passing you can either uh, add it as true or false if you want to have an encryption for your json okay so i'll be just checking for that whether should encrypt is being passed uh, by default i have just passed them as true then, okay i just need an encryption so i just pass them as true and the function name is perform encryption and we just need to pass in the response first we just pass the response one okay and let me call the empty function if uh, the encryption is not yet uh, added okay so we can just map into an empty method which we have defined over here okay and for perform encryption method we just need to write in the logic so the logic is like a, just need to create an variable just encrypt and make use of encryption so encryption nothing but an instance of the AS encryption class so you can see here I have already created an instance for the class and I'll be making use of that instance to access the methods which is first is encrypt message and as I said before it accepts the string in our case it is response which we have passed as a parameter over here okay so the response you can just make use of two string and if you need and the method is dot base 16 okay and we are making use of base 16 and uh, so now we have just encrypted the 
json into a hexadecimal string and it is stored in say this encrypt variable uh, what we need to do now is again decrypt them okay and for decryption i will be creating another variable which is decrypt and again make use of encryption instance and the method is decrypt message and finally we will be making use of uh, the json.decode method as i have used before and inside this will be just giving the encrypt variable okay so this uh, json.decode says that it uh, passes the string and returns a json object okay so this is uh, actually a string and for this string we will be making use of or converting that string into a json object so then we will be ma making use of the map method to map those variables okay and once it is done we just again make use of this state and assign that we are used to the calls list sorry it's not actually encrypt it's the encryption in instance okay we just need to make use of that okay so now let's just hard restart and if i click this load data we'll be able to see this json data being mapped over in the ui so for now we have just made use of the response one so let's just change that to response two okay so um, this pass at response two over here and also for encryption Okay, so after hard restart, you see now you will be able to see this data getting mapped in the UI. Okay, so we have also just made use of the JSON file for loading and also the custom data for loading in the UI. Okay, so both are working fine right now. Okay, so that's all about um, how to map JSON data in your front end code and uh, also the Encryption method what you can adapt for your JSONs bundle. Okay, so well, that's it guys Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye